So let's find our way to start into a child's pose. So come into your hands and your knees and just finding your way out to your mat. Let your forehead rest onto the ground. Let your arms be out in front. Chin, the 
eyes open softly. Inhale through the nostrils. As you exhale through the mouth, interlace the hands, palms press down, gaze follows. Do five rounds. Inhale, nostrils, arms sweep forward and up. Gaze follows. Together, palms. H-A, ha. Exhale through the mouth. The hands travel down all the way. Inhale for five. Together, palms, exhale, five. Inhale for six. Together. Exhale, six. Riding 
kind of that balance between effort and ease, between form and flow. as we take the arms in front, feet about hip width. Powerful pose, start to sit your hips back, start to bring a little energy all the way from the feet up through inner front thighs, low belly, lifting up, heart lifting up, shoulders softening down, arm bones plugging into sockets, eyes soft, breath soft. Maintain the energy in the arms. Press down to slowly come up. Moving into awkward pose. And spread through the toes, rise up through the heels. And start to micro bend the knees. Feel the shoulders stack on the hips and then you can either stay here or like you're sliding down the wall. Bend the knees, lift the heels. Pressing evenly through all of your toes to come back up. And then lower down. Mountain pose. Eagle sweep the arms overhead. Right arm wrapping under the left. Hips sit back, right leg wrapping over and across the left thigh. Playing in your shape. And you see if you can just invite the weight back slightly. Feel a bit of a sitting down through your hips, but a growing up through the crown. And release. Sweep the arms up. And we'll flow into the other side. arms high, hands to heart, hips sit back and down, prayer twist, inhale lengthens the spine, lifts the heart, right arm crosses over, or right forearm across both thighs with the left hand to the low back, three breaths, inhale to lengthen, exhale to twist. the bottom and exhale through center. Inhale, reach, look, rise up. Hands to heart, hips sit back and down. Long lifted heart, other side. through center, reach up, rise up, and then for standing back bend, either keeping the arms overhead or bringing the hands onto the buttocks, shoulders roll back, energy up from feet, lifting through heart, shoulders roll back, chin tucks gently, elbows hugging in, Arches of feet lifting up. Maybe just 
feeling the breath, guiding the breath into the front of the chest, into that space along your collarbones. And checking in, can you soften your face? And then come back up through center. Take a moment, land in mountain. Let all of that go. Sweep arms up. Forward fold. Plant the fingers, step your right foot back as we transition into lunge pose. So come to your fingertips, scissor leg bones, right hip forward, left hip back. You can either keep the back leg lifted, energized, or at any point bring the back knee down. Moving to runner's lunge, sweep the arms along beside you. Maintaining that um, energy in the legs, uh, scissoring through the hips. It's almost like you can feel the inner right thigh lifting up. Feeling those micro movements in the bones of your left foot. The base rooting you, supporting you. Inhale to come up into high lunge. Sweep the arms up, the belly peeling away from front thigh. And then just play, can you soften shoulders, but reach up through the fingertips. Soften face. And then just observing what's happening with your breath. Touch the top of an inhale, hands come down. Bend the right knee, shift back, step forward, halfway lift. Left foot steps back. Runner's lunge. between the hands. Inhale to high lunge. Warrior two. Back heel comes down. As you find your way into the lunge, energize the arms out. So you can either gaze to the side or just softly gazing past the left fingertips.
Let the weight transition back into your left leg. Right hand turns up. Scoop the right foot either from the inside or the outside. Soften standing knee. Lift through belly, heart. Left arm sweeps up. Left shoulder softens. Face softens. Breath softens. Inhale lifts you up. And then exhale, maybe start to play with the right foot kicking back. And we'll take about five or so breaths.
spine strengthening, feet onto the floor, left arm reaches up, roll to the left, come over until you're all the way onto your belly, rest the forehead. So we'll start with cobra first, press the feet down, energize through the legs, and then start to peel the forehead, shoulders, chest up. Keep pressing down really firmly through the feet so you feel the energy in the legs and the, the buttocks as you lengthen up through the spine. Let an exhale lower you down. Flow right into locust. Arms sweep beside or bind behind as you inhale. Lift the torso, lift the legs, maybe the arms. Looks like you're combining the actions of lift and length. Top of an inhale, the exhale lowers you down. Either repeating one of those or both, bend the knees, heels in, hands to the tops of the feet from the outside. Heart lifts up, shins kick back, thighs lift up. Breath carries you in.
toes touch, heels apart, sitting up tall. Sit your hips directly either onto your heels or with a block between the heels. And then you can stay here or bring the hands behind you, lift the hips, tuck the tail under, lower the hips back down. The shins and the knees stay.
to deepen your next inhale. Comfortable. 
Mr. William Hill.